There are many rumors about the strength of the jaws of various breeds of dogs, this is a hot topic for debate among dog breeders, and most breeders mistakenly believe that only pit bulls have the most powerful jaw, but this misconception has been formed due to the worldwide statistics of dog attacks on people, and pit bulls in these lists take first place, which is why these dogs are banned in many countries, because of their temperament, which an inexperienced dog breeder cannot cope with. But there are many breeds that bite much stronger, just have a calm disposition and temperament, and use their jaw strength in extreme cases, that is why they talk about these breeds much less, and many do not even know which breed will be in first place in terms of strength in powerful jaws, but you can try to guess by writing your guess in the comments. In 10th place, the Dutch Shepherd is a breed originally from the Netherlands. It was bred as a shepherd breed, and due to its strength and character, it can enter into an unequal battle with a wolf. Currently, the breed is used by the police and other security agencies, all thanks to their powerful jaws and outstanding intellectual abilities compared to other breeds. These dogs are very balanced, and will not rashly and without command or the need to use force. The dog shows an extremely adequate character madly in love with the family. Never shows aggression even towards teasing her children. The dog was created to serve man, wanting to become a true friend. But all these factors do not exclude the fact that their jaws are very powerful, with a bite force of about 52 atmospheres. In ninth place is the American Staffordshire Terrier. Amstafords began to be bred specifically for participation in fierce dog fights. The breed came out aggressive and hardy. Without careful training, the Staffordshire Terrier will pose a threat to everyone, including their owners. The jaw compression force in adult dogs of this breed is approximately 55 atmospheres. The ancestors of the American Staffordshire Terriers were English fighting breeds, in particular the Staffordshire Bull Terrier which originated from the Old English Bulldog and the English Terrier. Also other fighting dogs brought to America from England, Spain, Italy in the middle of the 19th century. In the United States, he received the names Yankee Terrier, Pit Dog, American Bull Terrier. Here, the selection of Staffordshire Terriers was aimed at increasing the size of the dogs and obtaining individuals with a powerful physique and a developed dentoalveolar system for dog fighting and animal baiting. Thus, Pit Bull Terriers and Amstaffs, as American Staffordshire Terriers are called for short, were obtained. The American Pit Bull ranks only 8th in terms of bite strength, it is a close relative of the American Staffordshire Terrier, both breeds were bred from the same ancestor, which was distinguished by unusually strong fighting qualities. Since in the process of crossing the preservation of this particular characteristic was given priority, it became quite logical to obtain dogs that are considered the most aggressive and cruel among dog breeds. Nevertheless, anger and bloodthirstiness are the result of exclusively human intervention in the character of the animal. If the dog has never been subjected to the conditions of a fight for his life, he will be an ordinary family pet, good-natured, with a latent, unawakened instinct of a fighter. In seventh place is the German Shepherd, which is one of the most common domestic dogs in the world. They are highly intelligent dogs and are often used by the police and military. Their bite is strong enough to break any bone in the human body or counter any other animal that might threaten them. The bite force of a German Shepherd is approximately 56 atmospheres. In the middle of the 19th century, people really needed dogs that could protect livestock. The dog had to be strong, powerful, easy to manage. Also, the dog had to live quietly in urban conditions. The task of breeding such a breed was undertaken by Max Emil Frederick von Stefanitz. He knew biology well, understood sinology and clearly understood what they wanted from him. All types of the old German Shepherd dog were at the disposal of the specialist. In 1882, the first dog to be registered as a German Shepherd was the male Greif. His color was off-white, it was he who worked out the entire program perfectly, without scaring the sheep. But this dog did not fit in terms of external parameters, nevertheless, the color should be beautiful and noble. In 1889, another male was found, which became the ideal representative of the German Shepherd breed. He had the character and appearance of a gentleman, 
the dog was distinguished by intelligence, was handsome, with a strong body and a noble posture. The sixth place in the bite force rating is occupied by the Doberman. His teeth are capable of pressing with a force of 58 atmospheres. This breed appeared at the end of the 19th century in Germany. These dogs are very intelligent, alert and strong in nature. Their jaws are truly dangerous and that is why they are also used by many different police forces as guard and service dogs. The breed is named after its founder, Friedrich Karl Doberman, who served as a tax collector in the city of Apold. To fulfill his duties, Doberman needed a reliable assistant, and he thought about creating a breed of dogs exclusively for official purposes. To develop a new breed, the breeder crossed the German Pinscher with the Rottweiler, German Shepherd and Manchester Terrier. In the blood of Dobermans, the blood of Hounds and Great Danes also flows. In fifth place in jaw strength is the good-natured American Bulldog with a bite force of approximately 72 atmospheres, they tend to be well built with and have a large head with strong neck muscles. They are loyal pets and are wary of strangers. This is a relatively young breed, a direct descendant of the English Bulldogs, brought from the British Isles to the United States for hunting and livestock protection. Over time, thanks to the efforts of several breeders, the breed became widespread. A calm and balanced Bulldog is a great companion and an excellent guard. In a moment of danger, he is able to soberly assess the situation and make the only right decision. Despite the balanced nature of the American Bulldog, serious training is required from an early age. The American Bulldog is a family dog. He loves children and willingly takes part in their games. Fourth place is occupied by the Rottweiler with a bite force of approximately 77 atmospheres. They were one of the first dog breeds to enter the service of the police, which still help them today. This breed is a wonderful combination of strength, intelligence, and endurance. It was bred in Germany, back in the days of ancient Rome, Rottweilers served as shepherd dogs. Their ancestors accompanied the Roman legionnaires in their crossings through the Alps, guarding people and driving cattle. The history of the Rottweiler breed began when the Romans settled in the town of Rottweil, it appeared due to the natural crossing of Roman herd dogs with local ones. Since then, Rottweilers have been protecting their owners and their property, guarding and driving livestock. In 1910, the Rottweiler received the official status of a service dog. The black coloration with well-defined red-brown markings gives these dogs a noble appearance. In third place is the Alibi breed or the Central Asian Shepherd dog. Its bite force is 120 atmospheres. According to experts, the Alibi breed was born about 6,000 years ago. This is one of the most ancient breeds that has retained its original appearance to this day. This breed was formed on a vast territory, from the Caspian Sea to the Southern Urals in the West. The second name Central Asian Shepherd Dog appeared precisely from a geographical point of view. Initially, the Alibi were bred for protection and shepherd work since the ancient tribes needed a strong and powerful dog that would protect them in case of emergency. Today these dogs are respected and appreciated in Russia, Iran, and Afghanistan. Also, the breed is common in Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan. The character of the Alibi is classified as balanced and calm, they are self-possessed, proud and independent. Dogs are very calm, rarely show aggression, not fussy. They are distrustful and wary towards strangers. The dog will easily find its place in the family. Alibi calmly react to other animals in the family, they treat children well. In addition to everything, Alibi are very good guards. The second place is taken by the English Mastiff, its bite force is 131 atmospheres, with this huge bite force, the breed can easily break any human bone. But do not be afraid, although it is a large and formidable dog, English Mastiffs are very calm and affectionate dogs. This is a very balanced and calm dog, which will never rush to fulfill the owner's order without weighing all the pros and cons. Because of this trait, training problems often arise. Representatives of this breed are very stubborn, and their obedience can only be achieved by earning trust. 
But, if the training of the commands seems boring to the dog, nothing will make it perform them, but since this is a big and serious dog, it must be trained. First place, a breed that many do not even know is the Turkish Kangal, the dog with the strongest bite. With a bite force of 176 atmospheres, Kangals are guard dogs originating from the city of Shivas in Turkey. They are the strongest dogs in the world and hold the lead in bite force. These dogs were used as guard dogs to protect sheep from large predators such as wolves, jackals and bears. According to numerous research data, the Kangal has the strongest dog bite in the world today. The breed is one of the oldest and strongest. She impresses with her size, uncontrollable character, and hard work. The protected herd will always be in order and safe. At the same time, Kangals are affectionate with children and devoted to their owner. This is the national treasure of Turkey. The government even banned the export of the animal to other countries. Friends write your comments, did you know which breed has the strongest bite? Also write what breed you have, and what breeds of dogs do you want to see new videos about. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.